Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga and our kennels are so empty right now with Stryker and Max gone preparing for an adorable little puppy that should hopefully be here in about 18 days. We're down to just four dogs on our sled dog team. Thankfully that does seem to have somehow made our league expenses go down which surprises me. I would think because we own the dogs even if they were away for breeding then we would still have to pay for their registration but at least that does help with the bills and the bills are actually not so bad especially because Yuki and Harmony two of our newest dogs are really proving themselves to be fantastic additions to our sled dog team and helping us win quite a few races I don't think we managed to snag first place last time no we were racing up against our rival so we did not manage to win first place but we still managed to get the money that we needed to take care of our kennel and I'm really hoping we might be able to do some more really fantastic things for our kennel pretty soon like expanding it once more so we have a little bit of extra room for any possible puppies or future sled dogs we add on to our team and I'm hoping we can hopefully add in another staff member in the future so somebody who could really help us out and take care of all of our dogs with us and help to train them and rest them it really helps when we have a staff member so hopefully we'll be able to win enough races and go up enough leagues to get that help in the future too I wonder how big you can expand your kennel to as well but all right you guys and I want to say thank you so 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 much for all of the amazing comments you guys have left but I have to admit that there's been a lot of confusion over exactly how some of our um exactly how some of our abilities are done like I had multiple people tell me that our dogs would be back after three days with breeding they wouldn't be gone for several weeks but actually they're gone for several weeks so I feel a little bit conflicted about how chaotic it's been um, with trying to follow the comments because then I do the opposite thing that actually happens in the game so if I I'm just gonna charge ahead and we're just gonna learn through experience now and I apologize if it seems like I'm not paying attention to your comment and you're like but Siri it's like this just look at the last few episodes you guys a lot of the mistakes I made were because I took some advice from the comments and it turned out to be completely the opposite of what actually goes on in the game but I just wanted to say that so you guys know I'm not ignoring you I'm just desperately trying to make this work and I think I'm just gonna have to learn through experience at this point but all right let's go ahead and enter the next race this is gonna be a really difficult and tricky one this time because we are gonna be dealing with a bit more of a challenging and exhausting race with two new dogs however remember these kinds of long races can also be great opportunities for our new dogs to gain better exhaustion rate ratios the more perfect treats that you throw to a dog the higher their exhaustion capacity goes so let's go ahead and see I think Yuki we need to race her yeah experience in middle two races so we need to race her in three races before we start figuring out what her perfect position is but because her personality is strong she is probably not going to be a good lead dog domino is already there as our lead dog at least and then harmony i think that let's see sierra what could we do yeah sierra does best as a middle dog and yuki and harmony yeah harmony's specialty is the middle and her aptitude in the middle is able but her aptitude as a lead dog is a natural so hopefully we can help her out and we'll race Yuki as a middle dog to see if that is actually something that will be helpful for her but we're gonna have to keep a very 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 close eye on their exhaustion rates so all right somewhere to Embarkment Lake let's go let's do this you guys oh and yay Domino is happy because it is a snowy day oh I'm so happy for him all right ladies let's do this I'm watching you, Harmony. I'm watching you, Yuki. All right, I see it. It's starting. They're starting to get a little tired. Domino is probably going to start getting a little tired soon, too. Oh, Sierra is right on it. She is trying to help out the, the whole group. There we go. Yuki got a little bit of fame. Yeah, Sierra is trying to help out the whole group. No, come on, Domino. You're okay, Bluey. What happened? Were you scared of the tree or something? Oh, man, Fooey. All right, quick, 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 quick. All right, gonna have to keep them all from... Come on, you guys. We're getting into a big tangled mess. That's what happens when you race dogs that haven't been very trained. So that's what I was explaining to you guys with why we were keeping Striker out of the races for so long. We had so many upset and angry people about that, but this is what happens when you don't take your newer dogs out on tons and tons of races and just get them 100% trained up and equal with your older dogs. Oh, I'm out of treats, darn it. All right, hang in there, hang in there, Harmony. 
There you go, Harmony. Yeah, she's gonna be so tired after this race, but they're doing such a good job. Dama's gonna need this, Sierra's gonna need this, Harmony's gonna need, or Yuki's gonna need this soon. Come on, Harmony. Oh, I didn't get Harmony, I'm sorry. There we go. Harmony got that. Oh, we're in second place, even with all of the chaos, thank goodness. Come on, guys. Oh, we've got this, and I'm out of treats again. Oh, and Domino did his best. Oh, that was really good, considering that they are new dogs at this. Oh, good job, everybody. And did we manage to help Harmony out? Oh, we've still gotta really push her in order to help her. Oh, and she, her rapport went up with Domino, yes. We still need to really push Harmony in order for her rapport to go up, with, or in order for her uh, exhaustion rate to go up. So I need to get more perfect treats on everybody. Sierra is super happy because she had her favorite thing. Domino is getting really close to having his exhaustion capacity go up too. His rapport went up with Harmony, wonderful. And we don't really know anything as Yuki yet. So let's see if Yuki has her specialty assigned to her just yet. And specialty, oh, her aptitude still is not decided. So we might try racing her as a wheel dog in the future. Hmm, I'm just not sure. She probably would not be a good lead dog either. So hmm, really have to figure out which one's which. And let's go ahead and let them rest. We're getting closer and closer to the puppy arriving too. I'm so excited. All right, everybody, you guys did very good. But this is exactly why with that kind of difficult race, I was so adamant about making sure that so many of our dogs uh, who were new were trained because that seemed to be something a lot of people were not understanding and they felt like I was ign ignoring Striker when I wasn't. <laughs> you just really have to train up the new dogs or else all of the dogs end up having a hard time. So it's, it's being able to be objectively compassionate by seeing the long goal and the long game of how to take good care of everybody. All right, everybody's getting some rest. We have a meeting with a sponsor coming up and the days are just flying by until we should see Stryker and Max come home and we might see their new puppy. I'm really excited. Who knows what kind of puppy it would be. Oh, this is so exciting. <gasps> Do I get to name it? Oh my gosh, it's another sled race day. All right, this one looks like it could be a tricky one, but you know what? Everybody is feeling good, so let's do it. All right, now where to put everybody? Let's try putting Yuki back in the, uh, the wheel dog position, and we'll race her there in two more races because she had three races as a middle dog, and yet her aptitudes didn't click in. So let's try this out. Embarkment Lake to Monument. All right, ready? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful clear night. Let's take some deep breaths and keep a good eye on our pups. I think pretty soon. Okay, and can I get any treats to anybody? Oh, there we go. Got some good treats out. Got to keep an eye on Yuki. She's going to need a treat soon. Darn, I didn't get her perfect. Because the more perfects that I can get to these guys, then the... Oh, what happened, Yuki? Oh, that's right. I think her her skill is that when she has her fault kick in, she misses like every bit of food that you throw at her, which is really hard. Okay, there we go. Okay, thank goodness. All right. And there's a tree in my way. There's for Domino, Harmony. Got to get everybody to jump. Sierra, try to catch this. Yuki, try to catch this. Yes! All right, we got some fame for the girls. I actually really enjoy the rocks at some points. Go, Domino, go! I actually get really excited about the rocks sometimes because, all right, there we go, guys. And Sierra, one for you. Yes, all right, a little too early, so it wasn't a perfect, though. But the obstacles create a really great way to try to earn a little bit of fame for your puppies, because if they catch it, well, after they jumped an obstacle, oh, Domino, like, Domino, come on, Domino, or Sierra. Yes, then they get a little bit more fame. Wonderful, and Sierra was super happy because that was her favorite thing. <gasps> We're in second already. All right, there you go, Yuki. There you go, Harmony. Having these two close to me really helps out with trying to make sure that they can get as many perfect throws as possible too. All right, come on, Yuki, I'm watching you. And she's ready for another one. Oh, we're so close, we're so close. Come on, puppies. <gasps> yes, they did it. Domino, do you want that treat? All right, and he got an honorary treat. We made it, you guys, first place. Oh, look at that, and Yuki's fatigue capacity has gone up, so she is now able to go on some bigger races, and she had her favorite thing happen. Oh, and that was, I think her favorite thing is actually like winning in first place, if I remember correctly. Her rapport has gone up with Harmony, but she's still, I don't know if her aptitude has kicked in yet. So the mystery, our snowy queen Yuki, we need to figure out what her aptitude is. 
Sierra had her favorite thing happen too, which I think is perfectly timed catches. And finally, Domino has gone up another fatigue capacity. He is just, he's got stamina. He's got stamina all over the place. He's going to be able to handle so much. Yeah, Yuki is so happy because victory happened. And now she has run two races as the wheel dog. And let's see. Fatigue capacity up to level eight. Dun, dun, dun. Domino, that's so great. All right. I think Domino, how high is his fame actually? No. Oh, we can afford to enter. No, I don't think we're ready for not with this particular lineup. I don't think we are ready to try to enter for a higher league. And Domino, congratulations, buddy. And I'm trying to see. So his skill, the max skill I think you can have is five. And his capacity, I think, is up to max slots. So that's really awesome. You can only have eight slots maximum, it seems. Um, and yeah, his natural is in the lead. But does it list anywhere what his... Yeah, fame level seven. How cool is that? Oh, it would be so cool if you could have like a super famous dog that you could just send out kind of like for breeding, but it would be for like pictures and, and photo shoots and maybe like entering them into a movie. Oh, that would be so cool. All right, and Yuki, do we know your favorite thing? Or you're like, nope, her aptitudes are still not clear. So we'll try racing her as a wheel dog one more time. And maybe that'll make it clear. And the puppy is coming, you guys. Nine more days nine more days and then our family should be reunited and we should be able to see the puppy level three funding um covers 15 percent of our monthly expenses no thank you i'm good I, I i'm managing my own budget and i really do need those fumble finger protective extra treats all right Sierra and Domino are getting a good rest. Let's go ahead and take care of everybody. Look at all the money we have. That's such a relief. That's going to help out when all of the, yeah, dues are due. And I can actually afford them for once. <laughs> oh, that's going to help out when it is time to do, 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 get all of our dogs back. Because we're getting three dogs back once the dues is training. Once the puppy comes, <gasps> six days, six days, you guys. Six days until the puppy is here. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, let's see if that's gonna finally happen. All right, five days left. Is there gonna be, ah, oh, there's a sneak race that just snuck up. Okay, so let's try to do this. It's a short race. Let's go ahead. We're gonna enter it. It's important. We might finally find out what Yuki's secret aptitude is. The, the key to her heart may finally be unveiled. We will race her in the middle or in the, the uh, wheel position just to see if she has that safe favorite. victory, fave thing, fame, harmony. Oh, harmony. I'll try to get you a little bit of fame. All right, let's do this, you guys. We need to find the secret to our sled dog's heart. We've got a tree coming up already. All right, I'm gonna keep an eye on everybody. Okay, Yuki. And then Sierra. Domino's gonna need one soon. Perfect. All right. Yuki, if you could like, ah, oh, dang it. See, if Yuki could catch a tree when it bounces off a tree, or Harmony is the one who needs fame, isn't she? So I'll try to toss the treat Harmony's way when we hit an obstacle next. There's no guarantee though. All right, ah. Oh. No, Domino. Hang in there, Domino. Grab the treat, there we go. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Oh no. Harmony, catch this. Ah, oh, dang it, she wasn't hungry. All right, gotta keep an eye on everybody. I think Domino, Yuki needs a treat. Oh, dang it, the tree stole her treat. And then let's see, Harmony, catch this, catch this, catch this. Oh, darn it. Yeah, Harmony didn't manage to catch it while we were by the obstacle, so she didn't get the, uh, she didn't get the fame, but we might run into another rock, <laughs> which I'm actually excited about because it would give her an opportunity to try to get a little bit of fame. All right, let's keep an eye on everyone. I think Sierra might need a treat soon. Oh, we're already, we're already at the end. Oh my gosh, race, race, race. All right. So poor, poor Harmony still did not get her favorite thing. I forgot to think about how tricky it could possibly be to try to get fame for a dog. And then let's see. Do we finally know Yuki's favorite thing? Wheel specialty! There we go. That may be, we're gonna have to see if that's her aptitude or not, but she has wheel specialty now. All right, Yuki. We've got to figure out what the heck's going on with you, my dear. And 
she is a natural at the wheel. All right. And actually, what the heck? She's a struggle in the middle as a strong dog for crying out loud. Everything is just out the window. I think personality can only help a little bit at guessing. So she could be an able lead dog and she is a natural wheel dog, just like we hoped for. Wonderful. All right. So now we have a new natural wheel dog. We also have Harmony, who's also a wheel dog. So really, that means we have had every personality type go in different places now. And it isn't like it used to be where it would only help you like know exactly where they belonged or cross out certain things. So I bet you there's probably like a teensy little percentage fragment that they'll be like just all over the place. So I'm really glad we know Yuki is now a natural at the wheel and she is able in the lead. So what to do with Harmony? I think we might keep Harmony where she's at. Um, a lot of people actually want me to get rid of Harmony, which surprised me. But you know what? We're gonna take good care of our dogs. I'm happy with the teams that we have now. And we should have our puppy showing up any minute now. So let's keep an eye out, you guys. I think it's finally, finally, finally the day that we should have our new puppy arriving. All right, and not yet. Is it tomorrow? Maybe it's tomorrow? All right, fatigue is gone on everyone. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Poor Domino is, is kind of sad because it hasn't been a snowy day for a while. <gasps> you guys, oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's a little girl. You guys, look at her. Stryker and Max have returned with a new puppy. Now to give her a name, oh my gosh. Uh, Preacher, Samiko, Maya, uh, Nikina. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Coney, Diggers, Mos Monosi, Kisho, Moo Moo. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Striker and Max and little Moo Moo. I like it. Oh, let's, 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 oh, should we keep her a name or Moo Moo? That's so adorably silly. Um, ah, you know what? I like it. I like it for a little puppy named Moo Moo. There we go. All right. And we're not going to race just yet. We just had a puppy. Where is it? Where is it? I want to see it. Oh, it's going to come in. Okay. So another week, another week, the little puppy comes back, but that means that Striker and Max have returned to us. They are back in the family and it is time to race again. It is time to probably get ready to qualify for higher level leagues, possibly hire some help again to the kennels. Our kennels are growing, you guys. I am so excited. We're going to try to qualify for the higher leagues so that we can earn more money, expand our kennels, and possibly add in more puppies in the future. I am so excited to start experimenting more with our dogs. We might start releasing some dogs and adopting new dogs and just kind of rotating some members of our team, like having our core members who we started with and then having members that we rotate out so that we can try out like having puppies and we can try out hiring different kinds of dogs. I'm really excited and I'm so excited Striker and Max have had a beautiful baby girl named Moo Moo, which sounds just adorable and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.